So, are we on? Are we good? We, are we live? We're doing it live. We're good. Okay, this is take two of the Deerdorf video because we had an issue and we lost focus on the last one. So, here yeah. we are, Daryl. Here we are again. Take two. This is the Deerdorf 8x10 camera. As you can see here, this is the size of the film. So, it, you know, in terms of digital, this would be the size of your sensor, yeah. this entire sheet of glass. It's 8 by 10 inches. This camera focuses, oh, loosen me up there. Got me? Got you good. Okay, this camera focuses like this. This one will go to. This lens will go to f64, mm -hmm. yeah. but there's a lot that go to a little bit higher than that. We can get a 128, actually. That's right. We have a we have an 8x10 lens that will go to 128. Which is absolutely insane, if you think about it. But the detail uh, that you get out of that image and the right. look is like no other. I started shooting 8x10 when I did the Marie Antoinette series. That was the first time that I ever really used 8x10. Okay, here we go. One more time, no eating. And hold. You're not gonna walk around the street with this thing, but if you do landscapes, if you do art of any type, this is something that I feel like everybody should at least try. Yeah. Even, sure. if, even if you fail with it, you should at least try. In the history of me shooting 8x10 with Daryl, you only ever messed up two photos. Two photos. One of them was Out of in hundreds. One of them was in the kitchen, which was a d disaster. We're not talking about that. Okay. So the other one was when we were in the middle of the desert. We were shooting with Grace Van Dien, and Daryl uh, points. He yells my name. He points up to the sky. He looks like a crazy person, and all of a sudden there's a giant set of clouds coming in. And what he's saying is like we've got probably three minutes to take mm -hmm. this picture. Or, you know, it's a wash. Once, yeah, once the clouds comes in, it's over. So he starts running towards the 8x10. I tell Grace, stay here, stay exactly like this. So I start running towards the 8x10. By the time I get to the camera, he's already got the film in. He's already got it, made sure it's focused. You slid the film in, mm -hmm. you pulled it out. The cloud is literally coming. Like, you can see the sun and the clouds just coming in like this. So I'm running to the camera. I get it set. I yell out to Grace. She gets set. I grab it, I'm like, boom, take the picture. Daryl, like a ninja, swaps the film, slides it back in, and then I take a picture again. 30 seconds later, the clouds come in. The, you can't take the photo again. And then I look at Daryl, and he's just standing there in pure misery. And I'm like, what happened? Like, I'm, I'm expecting him to say, like, there was no film in the camera. I'm like, what happened? And what did you say? I shot it at a 5.6 instead of a 45. So he overexposed the photo by nine stops. Nine stops, guys. Nine stops. Which is a disaster in anything other than 8x10. 8x10 negative film. So you can't overexpose an 8x10 negative photo. So right now I'm going to show you the photo that Daryl overexposed by nine stops. Um, if you're looking at it right now, you can see that it has a very shallow depth of field. Um, this is an effect that a lot of people try and get in Photoshop mm -hmm. or, you know, you have to shoot at like a 0.95 to try and, yeah. get, to try and get this type of look. Um, but again, that was a photo, I would never normally do that. We normally shoot everything 32 to 64 yeah. at least. At least. Um, and that was a happy accident. Right. But as you can see in that image, how crisp she is. Right. That portion of the image is right. spot on. And when you print that image and you see all the detail, there's nothing that you'll ever get from any other camera that looks like that. Correct. Even a 4x5 is not going to give you that. That amount of detail. No. Right, right. Uh, if, you, if you ever even try one, do not be upset when you fail. Because you will do things wrong with this camera. Yeah. It does happen. You'll underexpose, you can't overexpose, but you'll mess it up. But that's part of the learning process. Mm -hmm. It'll slow you down. It'll make you compose your subject, your art, the way that you really, really need it to be. Because it's only one frame at a time. There's no rapid fire here at all. So that being said, Ty, is there anything else you feel about this camera? No, I feel pretty good. I feel like if we don't stop now, Allie's going to kill us. Allie is currently waiting to film her own video right now. So I feel like we got to... 
We gotta wrap this we up. We gotta wrap this up. This is also the third time we've tried to film this video. Yes, it is the third time. So for the third time, you can find me on YouTube, Daryl Green. You can find me on Instagram, Daryl T. Green. And if you're still on websites, go to DarylTGreen.com. Check me out there. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Bye, Daryl.